Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Isabel. I'm going to do a flip through of Zen Doodle Colorscape's Gnomes at Home, Whimsical Friends to Color and Display, featuring artwork by Deborah Muller, including one page that I just did to show you what it could look like. If you haven't had a chance, please subscribe to my channel if you're new so you don't miss any new coloring book tutorials, flip throughs, or art supply product reviews as I provide them for you. So I'm a huge Deborah Muller fan. Deborah Muller has her own line of books. These Zen Doodle Colorscapes books are um, a series of books that feature artwork from different artists, not just Deborah Muller. So I have a few from different artists as well. Um, so she has another one also. Let me show it to you here from the series, which is the Chubby Cherubs. I already flipped through this one. And I will link that below. Okay. So um, I love this book. It's a nice matte finish. It has these kind of blue foil elements put into there, the dark blue. It's a really heavy, sturdy quality book. It has perforated, per, perfor perforated pages if you want to tear them out when you color. I would say be careful if you're going to leave the pages in the book because they, they any kind of friction when you're Working on a page can pull this really easily. It already happened to me one time. And just to give you a reference, here's a piece of paper so you can see how, what the size of the book is in comparison to the paper. So it's a smaller, smaller to medium square book. This is a standard coloring book size picture. This is one of my own drawings for a new children's animal uh, coloring book um, packet I'm going to release on Etsy. So, all right, let's get in here and take a look. Super cute. This is all about the gnomes in their daily lives. Um, Deborah Muller has this style that's very whimsical, almost childlike with the thicker ink line drawings, but she uses a lot of realism like flowers and butterflies and bugs and birds and trees and, you know, um, forests and woods and you know, ants and reptiles or whatever. And that brings it, you know, it's real, but it's in kind of this fantastical sort of um, setting and style, which I really, really love. These little guys are so cute. I already did this one just so you can see what it looks like. I did this whole page in Sharpies <laughs> pretty quickly. So nothing fancy, but just because I wanted to have a sample to show you um, on here. So the ink went on really nicely, nice thick pages. Of course, it bleeds through, so you wanna put a page in between your two pages. So here we have Gnome working in the fields. And I'll go through this quickly. I think there's about, there might be like 50 pages in here. It seems like a lot. Gnome in the garden. Gnome on the swing. Gnome in the garden. I like the patchwork hat. Mr. and Mrs. Gnome. Gnome baking cookies. Gnome cleaning house. Gnome playing music. Gnome taking a break from cleaning house. Watching the night starry sky. Napping in the barn. Gnome listening to a record player. Gnome exercising. <laughs> gnome baking pies. Gnome little houses, mushroom houses, I think. Those are cute. Gnome by the fire, resting his feet. Gnome playing ukulele. Gathering wood for a fire. Sitting by the fire. Gnome barbecuing. <laughs> Hey, look at my cute little gnome house, kind of a portrait. I really like that one. Gnome knitting. Mr. and Mrs. Gnome tea time. Gnome hot cocoa. Gnome doing laundry. Gnome quilting. Gnome repairing his shoe. Gnome snacking on mushrooms. <laughs> Gnome churning butter. 
Gnome wood fired pizza. <laughs> Yum. Gnome by fire uh, lantern. I love this one the most, I think, because it shows their whole world. It shows Mr. and Mrs. Gnome. It shows their little house they live in together. It shows what the outside of their whole world and environment looks like in the field with the trees and the cobblestones. This kind of picture would have been a great cover, actually, for the book, colored in. Gnome taking a bath. Gathering eggs. Gnome making a birthday cake. Gnome with bubbles. Gnome's dancing. Gnome heating something over the fire. Gnome napping in the garden. Gnome roasting marshmallows. Gnome story time. Gnome riding a goat. Gnome with his pets. Gnome, sweet gnome. Love that. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> that was really adorable. Can't wait to do that one. Gnome's fishing. Don't know what's going on here. Sorry, this is so fast, you guys. There's a lot of pages here. Um, gnome resting with kitty. Gnome getting into the jelly. Gnome with his ice cream on a hot day. Oh, Gnome having a frappuccino. I dare anyone to color this with a Starbucks cup and label. <laughs> That's too funny. Gnome making a peace garland wreath. Gnome and a bird feeder. You can see as I get toward the back, it starts flopping a little more because the weight is pulling to that side. So I have to use two hands. Gnome and Arboretum. Or Arbor. No mailing a letter to Santa. That's cute. I would have liked to see a little more Christmas pages in here. Gnome making cookies or batter. Gnome feeding goat. Gnome with a box of apples. Gnome and a giant cat. And that's the end. So you can see though, toward the back, it's pulling heavy on the side because of the weight. It's actually te will tear some of the pages very easily at the perforated parts. So if you're gonna work toward the back of the book and wanna leave your picture in the book, I recommend propping this up like this, put a box here so this is leaning against something so the weight's not pulling. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. Love this book so much. I'm also going to review next uh, Deborah Muller's Cowgirls and Indians, which I did a page in here to show you, and I'll show you all the rest of the pages. And check out my Chubby Cherubs Zen Doodle Coloring, highly recommended. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe.